G'day all, I'm Graham Sanders and I live at Townsville, North Queensland. That's where Latitude 19 crosses the east coast of Australia. This is a start on a series on a tropical species called Tetragonula clyperius. And I'm going to be doing a series about their management and their propagation because there's a lot of confusion out there about how to um, make new hives with this species. Now, I've received a new hive of Clyperius. Uh, here it is here. As you can see, long, narrow box. Gives you an idea of the size. And you may be wondering why I'm doing this series and that's because of global warming, climate change, whatever you want to call and last year I had a heat wave of over 45 degrees lost a heck of a lot of uh, the tropical species and this year I've just had another heat wave of over 45 degrees lasting nearly a, a week and that has killed off even more bees so it's time to look at species like Clyperius, like Sapiens, like Cynthias. These bees are not adapted to changing climates. They like relatively steady humidity, relatively steady temperature. And with the tropics now, it's regular. We're getting mist with wet, oh, try that again. We're getting mist wet seasons. We're getting heat waves. We're getting low humidity. And these sort of bees up here, they are not adapted to it. So part of this management series is to show you where to place the hives and how to look after them so that they do survive. So in this video, it's all about location, where to put the hive, and what my plans are in the upcoming videos with this species. Now it's a wet, drizzly day today, uh, so it's perfect really to set this beehive up. So, as you can see, this is going to be my location. Here is a, another hive that I've got. Survives, good, it's a tropical species as well. And the hive, this hive is going here, as you can see here. Now, what's so good about this location? I've done a previous video on this, quite detailed, but basically we want a microclimate that's suitable for the bees. We want an ability for the microclimate to tolerate changes in humidity and temperature. And we want to avoid radiant heat that kills the bees. And this does it perfectly. You can see here, we've got trees all over the place. It's a very humid. These trees go right over the roof, up there. So it stops any radiant heat from the roof because it's shading the roof. Trees offer evaporative cooling. I've covered this all in the video. So I've got trees everywhere around here. Also, big open area, allowing breeze, no pockets to trap heat. Any air movement's going to go through. Now, there is one drawback with where I've got the location. This wall here could do some radiant heat and hit, cook the hive. How do we solve that? Well, you put some wood down as a, like a bit of insulation. I've got sticks down here that are going to allow airflow to go under the hive. And this is enough to keep these bees happy. So where does this hive go? Very simply, as you can see, there he is. He goes there. And I'll just show you that. So there it is. You can see the setup. All good. That'll circumvent the radiant heat from the block wall. Just to show you the environment around here. Trees, 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 shrubs. Nice moist environment and we need that. Gone are the days of just sticking them in the shade in the tropics. Hang on a second, I'll just reposition this again. What am I doing? Stupid me. Get it back to the right place. Okay then. 
So yeah, gone are the days of just simply putting them in the shade and the bees will survive. Okay, what are my plans for this hive now? It's an overcast day, so I'm not planning to open it yet, but I will open it later on when the uh, rains ease up. The plans are for this hive, leave it for about a week just to settle. And I'll do a video on, on that. I'm just opening up so you can see the masses leave. I plan to put, lift this lid off and put a clear plastic screen, screen, um, cover over that so you can see inside the hive easily so you can be updated on the progress why do I need clear plastic I'm not a great fan of it but it does serve its purposes when you want to do a propagation of this hive via a method not many know about the queen bump method so I'm going to be queen bumping this hive down the line and showing you how to do that so that's what's coming up in the videos Hives arrived, next video, we're going to let the buggers out. Over here, I've just suddenly realised there's a dirty big bright light from the um, conditions. But, uh, so you can see it live. So, we'll just take this apart and see what we get. One. I might put my little thingy over that just in case. That's two. Bloody sticky tape, of course. That's three. We'll just pull that off like those bees in there. And then there we go. We'll just pull that off there like that. So you can see there's some bees in there still crawling around. You can see there, I know, the, I know picture's terrible. More importantly than anything else, that entrance there, we'll see if we get it focused right. So. They don't swarm out like other bees. What you can notice about them is, of course, they're rather small. I might try the magnification on this one and see what we get. So they're definitely smaller than the average bee you can see. That's one there running along the roof. He's just getting orientated. You don't worry about those bees that are running around there. They will eventually find their way to the hive because the other bees will send them to that hive. So at the moment, exactly what I'd expect. Just a few bees crawling around. They're going to orientate themselves. We might come back in uh, an hour's time and just have a quick gander. Uh, can we see anything more that way? Naturally, because my skills are shit, camera's shit. I'm not caring about that, it's the information, not necessarily the skill of the operator. Hopefully you can see, um, dang the autofocus on this. But nice activity, first thing in the morning after opening. We've got lots of pollen going in. So they found a pollen source and they're really going for it at the moment as you can see there. So all looking good.